Hi, my name is Christian Hyde. I'm the Managing Director at Risk360. I help oversee our ISO 27001 practice. And this is a series where we cover every single control, all 114 controls in ISO 27001. And in today's series, we're going to talk about Control Objective 6.2, which is around mobile device and teleworking. On the left side of my screen here, I have ISO 27001 standard up. Uh, these are the 114 controls, specified ISO that you have to implement. On the right hand side, I have the ISO 27002 standard, which is the implementation guidance for every single control in the ISO standard. So when it comes to uh, control objective 6.2 around mobile device and teleworking, there's only two controls. There's one around mobile device policy and there's one around teleworking. But mobile device policy and strategy is one of the more complicated topics that you're likely to face as an organization. And the reason is because we have more and more employees working remotely, and we have more devices that are considered mobile devices. So you have your cell phones, you have laptops, you have iPads, and any other device that you would consider a computer that facilitates remote work. So when it comes to developing a mobile device policy, there's a few decision points that you need to consider. Which devices, uh, well, the first one is, do you want your employees to bring their own devices, so have a bring your own device policy, or are you going to provision laptops and endpoints for your employees? Once you decide that, you decide how you're going to secure those devices. So are you going to use a mobile device management technology? Are you going to install antivirus? Are you going to remove local administrative rights? Are you going to have a certain set of hardening procedures for those endpoints, like installing, um, uh, enforcing encryption locally, and that type of thing? And that is really where the policy comes into play because you're going to lay out in policy all of the things that you intend to do to secure that mobile device and then you're going to implement those mobile device policies. And then moving, and I'll show you an example of a policy here in just a second where we, where we cover those types of stuff, uh, materials. The second control, uh, control 6.2.2, is around teleworking. So what is your stance on employees working remotely and what are the provisions around information security to ensure that they do so in a secure way? So those are the only two controls in, in this control objective, but I want to cover the, what that looks like in a policy so you can get a sense. So here is RISC-360's template information security policy. And if you're a RISC-360 customer, um, you have access to this policy and we'll typically collaborate with you to develop the whole strategy around mobile device management, including some of the factors I just talked through and rolling that policy out from a technical perspective. But again, to meet what the auditor is going to be looking for is one you want to end the policy so we have a section here called mobile device and teleworking we would work with the client to define some of those decision points articulate those in a policy and roll them out so the auditor is going to be looking for a the policy and two they're going to sample some devices to see if that policy is actually rolled out so is there a mobile device management tool on your laptops uh, is it enforcing security standards? What are those security standards? Is it fully rolled out or partially rolled out to your employees, etc.? And and because you may have a lot of employees, this becomes somewhat difficult control to roll out and implement, even though it's only con two controls in the standard. If you have questions about how to roll this policy out, about mobile device management, and some of the information security, uh, I guess shortcomings or problems or common pitfalls when it comes to rolling out and securing endpoint devices, uh, feel free to reach out to me or contact us at risk360.com. We're happy to help. So I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you at the next one.